Hello everyone, my name is Anush Kalari and with Professor Satish Mulletti and Professor Ajit Rajwadi, I am here to present our paper on supervised model based learning for simultaneous video deep flickering and deep lodging. Now what is flicker? As you can see in this video, there is intensity variation across frames at different regions, which is called as flicker. Flicker in old movies is caused by inconsistent exposure across frames during recording. Flicker artifact can be seen nowadays when high frame rate video is recorded in artificial lighting conditions as seen in the video. Next what is blotch? As seen in this video, each video frame contains regions of varying size and shapes at random locations with undefined pixel values. These are nothing but blotches. Blotches are caused due to mechanical damages, dust, scratches or cracks on the magnetic tape used for video recording in old movies. Now, to remove flicker, we represent flicker in mathematical model as relationship between two neighboring frames i1 tilde and i2 tilde, where tilde represents presence of artifacts in frame. CORR corresponding represents specially aligned frame i1 tilde with i2 tilde using dense optical flow. The mathematical model is given as i1 tilde corresponding is equal to i2 tilde multiplied with m plus a plus eta at location x, y. M and A represent multiplicative and additive change in I2 tilde respectively due to the flicker. The flicker shows low frequency degradation and hence M and A can be represented in frequency domain using discrete cosine transform as psi theta M and psi theta A respectively, where theta M and theta A flicker coefficients. And we have used only a K low, low frequency basis from this city. Now, the previous model does not address blotches which are present in corrupted frame. To obtain the clean frame without blotches, we need to estimate the corrupted pixel data, which can, after adding to corrupted frame, can remove blotches. The corrupted pixel data is represented as delta, and hence, clean frame i1 is equal to corrupted frame i1 tilde plus delta 1, similarly for i1 tilde corresponding and i2 tilde. Now, consider the flicker model. Here we introduce blotches as i1 tilde corresponding plus delta 1 corresponding is equal to diag of i2 tilde plus delta 2 psi theta m plus psi theta a plus eta as since both i1 and i2 contains blotches. After moving delta 1 corresponding to right hand side, this whole term is called as delta 2 to 1. This term is sparse as both delta 1 and delta 2 are sparse. Note that here we are focused on restoration of frame i2 tilde. For restoration of kth frame, consider frame ik tilde with temporal neighborhood of frames with radius w. Given neighboring frame ij tilde, we can write model as shown in the slide. In this model, theta m kj represents theta m for frame k2j. Similarly, for theta k a kj and theta tilde kj. Now, for each neighboring frame, we can determine unknowns by minimizing this convex optimization function j1. j1 is given as p norm of mkj element wise multiplied with ij tilde corresponding minus diag of mkj multiplied with diag of ik tilde psi theta mkj plus psi theta a k2j plus delta k2j plus lambda times theta l1 norm of theta m k2j plus lambda times l1 norm of theta a k2j plus lambda times l1 norm of delta k2j. Here mkj represents occlusion mass between frames k and j. This mask is necessary to avoid errors at region of occlusions and regions of high motion. Now to do restoration. In the absence of blotches, deep flickering can be done by rendering a restored frame as diag of ik tilde psi theta mk bar plus psi theta ak bar where theta mk bar and theta ak bar are average of all theta m's and theta a's respectively between frame under consideration and its neighborhood. However, if video frame contains blotches, then we need to determine delta k using delta kj and theta m's which are previously estimated using Fista. As delta k is common in all delta kj, we can determine delta k by minimizing convex cost function as summation of L1 norm of delta kj minus diag of delta k psi theta m k to j which has closed form solution where lth element of delta is estimated as median over all j's lth element of delta kj divided by psi theta m k to j 
Here delta hat represents the estimate of delta and small l represents l element of vector. Finally, restored frame without flicker and blotches can be rendered as diag of i k tilde plus delta k hat. Here we are adding here we are adding back pixel data at location of blotches, and this term is multiplied with psi theta m k bar plus psi theta a k bar to remove flicker. The cost function defined previously were minimized using well-known fist algorithm. However, despite its fast convergence, is too slow for video processing, especially for large frame sizes. To address this issue, we use a learned FISTA, which is nothing but learned unrolled version of FISTA, where a fixed number of iterations of FISTA are unrolled and various elements of these layers are learned using backpropagation. Now, this is the optimization function we defined previously can be represented in con compact form as L2 now square of x minus phi w capital theta plus lambda times l1 norm of capital theta where w represents diagonal matrix of bases and capital theta represents all the unknowns to be estimated in this model lambda and psi can be learned using backpropagation for learning process data set is used where each example is patches of pair of neighboring corrupted frames the unsupervised loss function is used which is 1 over nt summation of l2 norm square of x minus phi w capital theta j hat. Here capital theta j hat represents estimated capital theta j during forward propagation. Finally, the complete architecture is summarized in this slide. To restore frame 3, neighboring frames 1, 2, 4 and 5 are considered. For every pair of frames, occlusion mask and frames are given to L vista which estimates theta m, theta a and delta. Then theta m bar, theta a bar are estimated using averaging and delta hat is estimated using median as discussed earlier. These estimates are used to restore frame to get a clean frame without flicker and blotches. The result of our method is shown here. The original video contains blotches and flicker which are got removed in the result. This slide presents visual comparison of our method with other methods, which include various deep learning based methods and one commercial tool, Neat Video. As seen from the results, our method produces better results compared to others. So, in conclusion, we presented a simple, interpretable method for joint video deep flickering and deep launching based on model based learning. Our method outperforms state of the art techniques on publicly shared as well as our own data sets in terms of numerical scores and visual quality. For more details and results, you can see our paper and supplemental material. Thank you.